What is going on guys, it's Bear, and today I'm bringing you another tutorial, it's going to be part 2 of my intro, which is my Adobe After Effects part, so if you haven't already seen the Cinema 4D part, I highly recommend watching that beforehand, because this is what the RAW we're going to be working off of. Um, this is what the, intro, the RAW looks like of the intro, so, just swings in, comes together, and dips back. So, the first, first thing we want to do is go in the description and... If you don't have Adobe After Effects, there's a link to download everything I'm going to be using. Um, it's going to be like Twitch, RSMB, uh, Magic Bowl Looks, Optical Flares, um, and then there's going to be a pack there. The pack's going to be including everything I'm using, which is going to be screen reader, a backwards like swoosh, some ep dramatic music, uh, an energy blue blast, the raw video itself is going to be in there as well, and that's about it. So, once you get all the stuff like installed, you can just come back to the video and we'll start the tutorial. So, you're just going to open After Effects and just drag in your intro to make a new, uh, your new composition. So, the first step we want to do is adding the shockwave. That's the most that's annoying part, so let's get that out of the way. So, we got to find out where our, uh, our two logos or like our logo comes together in like the, the middle, so like it slams together. So we're going to go like that, and wherever we think, so as you see, it comes together and like hits right there, and it dips back. So we're going to come to where it hits. Let's make sure if we go back a frame, see it's still open, and then it closes on this frame. Next we're going to do is take the blue energy blast from the pack I gave you, and just drag it below the intro, and just kind of drag it over here, so it kind of like starts when it comes together. So it's just like boom and then it steps back so that's pretty much the most annoying part out of the way we're just gonna add a uh, screen dirt now so there's a file called 093 I'm just gonna put that above the intro right click it and go to blending mode and we're gonna go to screen so it just has like that all around just like that part next we want to add a, a flare but first we gotta make sure this is the color we want if not what we can do is go to layer or go to effects, color corrections, and then color balance. And we can just mess with like, the darkness of the color. So I'm actually going to keep mine to a really dark blue. I just mess with the green balance and the highlight blue balance. So. And there you go. Next, we're going to want to add uh, an optical flare. So we're going to go to layer. Just make sure you're clicking there. Layer, new, adjustment layer, above everything. And type in Optic Flares. And it's a video co-pilot plugin, so that's... If you guys have it, you might, you might not. So, we're going to go to Options, which is next to Reset. And this little... I guess screen will pop up. And we're just going to delete the existing stuff. You're going to add a glow, a streak, and a shimmer. So you're going to take the shimmer and just kind of like lower the brightness of it. And then the, the streak just can stay the same. Just make sure that the shimmer is not too like bright. So then you're going to click OK. Go to the color and then just put it to whatever color you like. And then you're going to go to the position X and Y and just grab the the Y and put it in the middle and then grab the X and bring it all the way left. So and you can just mess where you put that. So you can, you can like have it show up here and stuff. You're gonna right click it, blending mode, and you're gonna put that on screen as well. So just has that and then like the flare is there. Next we're gonna add a twitch onto the flare. So for the adjustment layer, just type in twitch another video co-pilot which is a plugin drag on the adjustment layer turn the amount and speed on put the speed to amount to three and enable slide and scale so it like should like dip back and forward um next up we're going to add another adjustment layer so we're going to go to new adjustment layer and we're going to go to rsmb and drag it onto the adjustment layer you're gonna take the blur amount and you can keep it at 0 .50. That's usually a a safe, kind of a safe like, 
I guess you would say a uh, number. So let's keep that at 0.50. You're gonna add another adjustment layer, and you're gonna type in Twitch again, and just drag Twitch onto the thing. And you can put it above everything. That might be too much to handle for the uh, the flare. It might just like shake out of like the the whole thing. So I'm just gonna render preview this on full for you guys and I'll be right back. What is going on guys? I'm back and it just didn't it just finished render previewing, so I'll just play this for you guys. Alright, so you see it just does that. So next we're gonna be adding the sound. So you're gonna have the best dramatic music ever and you're just gonna drag that below everything. And this is when you put it on like third, it doesn't really care, you don't really care about like the whole, if you can hear it, bullshit. So, let's let this play out, we gotta find out where like the, the dramatic part is and where it like comes together and like has a huge like impact noise, so. Obviously not there, so I'm just gonna keep dragging this to the left and finding out. So this is probably the part that takes the longest out of these uh, these intros. So as you see, it's building up. So we know we're getting close. Keep dragging, find out where it is. So, all right, as you see, already hit together. So, let's go back a little bit. All right, so that's pretty much where we want it, and we're just gonna kind of drag it all around, see where we can get the impact sound. Is this a little too early? Excuse me, so we have where the whole song comes together. We can also go to the waveforms, like just keep clicking this down and find out. But as you see, that's not really the best idea because it's not really anything. Like that's probably where it comes together. So I can move that back like a centimeter and just listen to it again. <laughs> That's it. So I was gonna minimize the this stuff, and you have your intro. Next, we're gonna add these black lines to create a more heroic feel. So go to new solid, black solid, and make the height about 400, and make the color black. Just drag this out, and then just down. And this is where you can just like find out wherever you like to do your stuff. Control C, Control V to duplicate it, and just like drag it back up. So if I put it to full, there's just black lines around it. And like it creates that character. No, excuse me, next we're gonna be adding the black smoke, which I need to import, so oh it's already imported, sorry. I just need to do that, take it and put it below that. All the adjustment layers put the blending mode to screen. And we gotta find a part where it doesn't throw a whole bunch of smoke at us. So. This is probably the most annoying part. I don't really use smoke more like, the most anymore. Because it's just got too much to handle. So if I let that little bit of smoke finish out. Uh, see, it's too much smoke. Alright, so I'm just going to delete the smoke since I don't like the, how it looks in this. Next, we're going to be adding the magic pull looks part. So, we're going to add layer, new adjustment layer. And just put it below everything. Type in magic, and then magic bolt looks will come up. There'll be obviously a link in the description to get all this kind of stuff. So, once you add that, it kind of takes a little bit. You're going to click the edit. Alright, so we're gonna just go put our mask on the right and we're gonna go to post and we're gonna add a curve. 
So you're just gonna drag these down a little, a little bit. And then that's it for this. Oh no, go back to post, gotta add pop. So that color aberration. And you can bring out any color you like. So that you can go to lens at a whatever it's called. I pronounce it wrong every time. The Vignet Vignia, whatever it's called. Add a anamorphic flare. And just change down the boost a little bit. And edge softness. Alright. You can add anything else you'd like. That's pretty much all I do. I'll add another like curve. And then I'll just like bring like the bottom ones down. And then click finish. And you see then it gets added. And you can just like minimize this. See what it looks like. See what it looks like with that and with. Kind of like a width. It kind of brings more of a uh, like a harmonic feel to it. You can also use dubstep songs to this because it's like more, I guess, entertaining to watch. You can say. So next, we're gonna go to effects or we're gonna go to layer, new, and then adjustment layer, and put it below the two black solids, and go to CC and go find CC lens. I'll put that up below and it's gonna do that which is not what you want so if you can just take the size and just bring it out so 500 is like that so you can put like I guess like 340 is a good number and I'm gonna render preview this when it's on full so I can show you guys so I'll be back in a couple minutes what is going on guys, I'm back from the render previewing, so I'm just going to show you guys what we came up with, so sit back and chill. And just plays out, as you see, this bar is not fully like that, so I'm just going to do that. So that's pretty much it. We can take the magic ball looks and you can scale it down a little bit. So just hit T on that and then just move it down a little bit. Because when it comes in, there's a lot of flares right here. All right, so now we have like the whole come together thing. Next, we're gonna be wanting to add the text. So we're gonna go to a point where after it slams, it like chills for a little bit and then it just goes straight into the uh, like the words so I'm just like 4.1 second in so let's play like halfway through these two and you're gonna go to layer new adjustment layer and put it above everything except for the black solids and you're gonna type in blur on the side and you can use anything you like I'm actually gonna go to RSMB and add that to that and you're just gonna take the adjustment layer and uh, you kinda wanna like cut it in half here. So you're just gonna hit Control Shift D. Oh. Okay. Huh. I wonder what this is. All right, that didn't do it. So I don't understand why that's coming up. That's how you cut the layer though. Uh, We're just gonna take this since I won't let me do that. I'm just gonna take the end of it and drag it. That was weird, very weird. Um, so you're just gonna take that and you're gonna put the blur amount up very high. And take uh, take it all full because I don't think your computer wants to do this on full. And just take that and put it up to like, probably like, yeah, fuck five. Turn the blur amount like, on, and then just you have to fade this. And what I'm gonna do is, <clears throat> what I'm gonna do is take the magic bullocks off so my computer can process this faster. So I'm gonna go here, put it on zero at the end of it. So you're just gonna go to the end of that, hit T, bring the opacity down to zero, click the keyframe, and then go to five, and then put up to 100. You're gonna go to layer new solid. And 
put the side, the height up to 720. And put it below all your two other two black solids. Go here. Hit T. Actually, go below the RSMB. Hit T if it lets me. Go down to zero. Click that, and then go over here. And let's put it up to about like 20. I guess maybe just put 30. All right. Next, we're gonna want to add the text. So, so click the text tool. And you can type in your URL, whatever you like. I'm gonna put there. Sign. Come on. And then you can highlight it all and change the font to Bank Gothic. Uh, make the text smaller. And then you can just spread it out more. Not that one. Spacing right here, the A and the B. Alright, next we're going to try to center this. So I don't know how to get the rulers on this, and I don't think it's control R, so let's work my best to center that. Which I think it is, and then you just put that below the two black solids. Go to effect, or not go to effect, go to effects and presets on the right side. Type in twitch, drag twitch on the text. Put the amount to 2 and speed to 3, enable those, and then slide and scale. So I like just like jitters. So like that. So now we have that done. That's pretty much almost all of it. What we can do now is just re-render preview it and see how it looks. So I'll be right back guys while I do this. What's going on guys, I'm back, and I just finished on Ryan previewing it, so I'm just going to click this and play it for you guys. And uh, as you see, it's pretty much it. You're just going to take the text, and you can just move it around to wherever you want it to start. And you just, like, just whatever. So you can just mess around with it like that, so the screen can go black, and then the text will come in. Alright, so this is basically where the, the video ends, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to just play it all the way through and just have you guys, like, this is going to be the whole thing. So the next thing you want to do is you're going to have to render it, so you're going to go to Composition and Add to Render Queue. Go to Render Settings, and you can keep all the stuff the same. You can put the frame rate on to 30 if you'd like. Put the Output Module to... <clears throat> Format is H.264 and audio is 48 killer chef I that means. Um and then you go to output to and then go to put us put it on your desktop and you can name it new intro. And then I'm gonna render this and when it's finished rendering, then I'll come back to the video, show you guys the final product and I'll talk to you guys about other stuff. So thank you. Alright guys, I'm back and this is the end portion of the video and it's just finishing like, finish rendering out. So I want to thank you guys so much for 500 subs. I actually gained 40 subs in the past 3 days, which is pretty amazing. I hit uh, 500 on the 27th and I gained 40 something like recently. So thank you guys so much for that. I hope you guys like, like, enjoy me doing my tutorials and stuff. I hope it's not too boring. So. Let's let this open out. I'm going to play what we made, so enjoy. Alright, and that's it. That's your intro. So, uh, it's, it's basic. It's basic. We'll have to work on it. And, uh, I'm going to be doing more tutorials very soon. If you guys have any, like, kind of, uh, suggestions, please leave a comment or message me on Skype. I love talking to you guys. So, um... Thank you guys so much for 500. Hopefully, I get 600 by until next week. So it's, it's it's a big deal. So I hope you guys enjoy. Please like and comment on this video. If you have any tutorial suggestions, please let me know. And uh, peace out, guys. Enjoy. <laughs>